As someone who is obsessed with microscopy and utterly fascinated by the alien universe of microorganisms, I am big on introducing as many beneficial microbes as I can to have a healthy soil microbiome. Soil microbes have been discovered to play a huge role in soil and plant health. They're responsible for doing a couple of things like breaking nutrients down into plant available forms and transferring the nutrients between plants. I'm here at my friend Elsie's place and we're gonna do some spring fertilizing as well as replenish her soil microbes. There's so much growth happening this time of year, so it's a good idea to do what you can to add beneficial microbes back in. And the best time to do this is while you're doing your regular spring and autumn fertilizing. I can see Elsie's got an array of different plants from ornamentals, potted plants and a lot of natives which are just coming into flower. So an all-purpose fertiliser is perfect for a backyard situation like this to get everything as healthy as possible for the hot summer suns that they're going to endure in just a couple of months time. Deciduous plants like this frangipani here are about to produce a whole new canopy of leaves all at once and then go straight into producing an abundance of blooms. And that, as you can imagine, is quite a nutrient demanding task. So that is why I'm using Troforte, which contains up to 60 different minerals, as well as feeding the plants for up to six months. And the best part about it is it's natives safe. So I don't have to worry about accidentally poisoning Elsie's grevilleas that are close by. Using a native fertilizer or a fertilizer with a phosphorus level below 3%, like this Troforte all-purpose fertilizer, you know your plants are going to be in safe hands. By adding this into the garden, I'm introducing up to 24 strains of carefully selected soil microbes. These range from beneficial bacterias to soil fungis, whose sole purposes range from fixing nitrogen into the soil to producing plant growth hormones to assist plants' growth. Once you've spread the pellets, give the area a good water. This is essential for the microbes to reanimate. It's a good idea to keep the area moist for the next couple of days while they grow and work their way into the soil profile to work their magic. After watering those pellets in, I like to double up with a liquid feed. This may seem like overkill, but I assure you it is not. Those pellets we put down are a long-term feeding solution, whereas this is an instant boost for your plants and for the microbes. They're gonna love you for it. 